Okay guys, we're out here working on this one. You see it's starting to shine. As opposed to the other one. Maybe we get a better shot this way and you can see the difference. Shiny, dull water spots on it. From what I upchucked. I thought I wiped everything off. Um, never dull. Okay, they do, they sold it uh, advanced auto for seven bucks. But this is what I use. I had run out, or else I'd be using this on Junior's carburetor. Never dull does not get the water spots off. Never dull doesn't do anything. You do this, it works better. This zinc plating, as opposed to that zinc plating, that zinc plating is much rougher, but seems to shine better. This zinc plating is much smoother and seems to have hazy areas. That's the way it always was. So, this was done by a carburetor shop. That was done by, I guess, Holly. So, it's your choice. This is definitely a smoother finish. Uh, it is what it is. I hate these carburetors. So, now I gotta go back there and clean the one I can't reach. So. Yeah, I think we'll talk while I'm working. The camera might shake. I just take a little, put it on my finger. I put it everywhere I want to put it. It's probably the worst thing you could do for yourself. If you don't know what's in this. You know, it's funny. Since roadkill engine masters have tested their tunnel ram setup I went from the statements of wow those carburetors are way too big for your engine to you know you could put bigger ones on there and make more power I find that simply remarkable I said I think this has maybe a very slight grit in it, it almost feels like it but it's definitely not polishing compound. Well, I'd hate to find out what chemicals in here. I wouldn't want to leave it on my paint to know. Like obviously this one, we're not going to do the back side of the front carburetor. Maybe a little of the front side of the back carburetor. And I've also learned don't let it dry. It seems to work better when it's wet. Almost like compound in the car and you can see that. Actually because I was talking I just missed a step. Usually I rub it in with a waxing pad. So we're rubbing it in and wiping it off all at the same time and stuff. Did the front code three light times. So tomorrow's show. I don't know how it's gonna turn out. The show was rained out from last week and they rescheduled it for this week on the same day as the next biggest show. I don't know how crowded it's going to be, but it's five miles from the house. I take the car out on the highway, I give it a pouncing for an exit. Get a lot of stares and waves and thumbs up. And confused looking people. We walk around, maybe we'll find something. I doubt it. I very rarely find something at this want meet. Then again, this was a swamp meet. We got the uh, we got Ruben's carburetor for him, and this is also the swamp meet. We got the uh, those aluminum slots for the back of Junior's car. It's also a swamp meet. I had bought a set of skinny aluminum slots, which I wound up selling off because they weren't the ones I wanted. But I got the ones that are on the car now from a friend of mine. And I very rarely sell wheels, so you know I didn't want them. 
Now I think I should have kept her. I thought it was done with projects. Until Junior's call came along. Junior could take all my stuff at this point. I don't care. I don't want to do no more. I thought I don't want to do no more. I don't want to do no more major projects. They're fighting to try and get a drag strip here on the island. If they do, I guarantee you Junior's call will turn into a full out drag car. For us, at least a bracket racing car. And it'll come off the street. So we've got plenty of other shit to drive. So, with that one more time, it's starting to look good. Like I said, it's not chrome. It's not polished aluminum. It's zinc. It's like a garbage pail. So I take some on my finger, put it where I want, rub every area that I want to have contact with it. This gives me a lot more control. I think at least. Like I said everybody does stuff different. But after we took these things apart two years ago, I can't believe it's been two years. I started to learn the tricks pretty quick. Like I said, Junior's car, I never used this. Junior's car, I took the bowls right to the wheel. <laughs> and wheeled them. And I think they actually never dull, dulls them down. These shoes never done in the 70s. And my brother's slots. I had the chore once. While he was having the car reshot. He left the wheels off. He gave it to him without the slots on it. I had the chore of polishing the slots. And I did it to the more mirror. At least the back ones were. I left the front ones up there. So, this is the way I usually do it. And then I rub it in. Except we missed that step. You get all angles. See, this is one of those things that if you do this weekly, or however often you drive the car, you can miss spots and you never notice. But when the car is laid as long as this one has laid, so it's the oxidize. I make sure to get every nook and cranny on the first one. Then I get a little more last as I go along. And what's funny is the amount of times they clean these carburetors, the words are still on these decals. So the stuff can't be too aggressive. I think it would have worn the ink off by now. See, the other problem when you do it on a wheel is it takes all the black junk and puts it into all the little crevices. Then you can't get it out. And that's what happened with Junior's base plate. And that became a problem. You do it the way I'm doing it with my finger and you can control that. I'll also let this sit after I wipe it for 10 minutes and then come back. There will always be some kind of residue that'll polish it up even a little better. As I'm doing it, I don't even have to look. I can feel with all the edges of my fingers as I work around. Look at my finger there. inside the letters. I'll tell you what I did get ripped off. I got ripped off on these screws. They clean these screws. See this one? Can you guys see them? The screws for the carburetor. They're slotted. These are supposed to be NOS pieces. So I heat the bolts. Then they're not NOS. They're coated with something. That actually wears off as you clean it. 
and they're becoming more and more shiny, polished. The original ones were brass thrown through, through just like the plugs. So that guy was full of shit. He has other stuff up there, and now I refuse to buy from him. Because I was going to get the original Holly labels too. So, I don't like to be bullshit. Tell me the truth. Tell me they're replicas. And once I hear the word replica, I know it's going to be kind of like close. There you go. That looks much better. Both of them shining. Looks a little menacing when you pull up alongside of somebody. So, that side's done. Front's done. This is done. Not done. And we just started, guys. So, there you go, guys. The washes that sit up here are just regular fender washes. I put a little bit of that white diamond down. And I don't know if I can put just actually put too much down. Just get a little on it. Move it over to the side. If you want to hit it a second time, but you don't have to. Watch the rag turn black. You know these are not stainless steel. All I do is wipe it. And that's it. And they haven't rusted yet. So, let's give it a quick, get the stuff off the back side that comes to the hole. Still kind of black. Shiny enough for me. Oh, it's starting to look better. Got the carbs done. Got the intake manifold cleaned. Got the scoop cleaned. Got the valve covers and wires cleaned. Got the magneto cleaned. And the two breathers cleaned. So now the engine compartment just needs a basic wipe down and going over and look for any kind of water spots from when all that water up chucked and it's a full car clean. So I might just take it out. You guys can't even see how much dust is on that roof. It's amazing. I don't want to go wet my finger in it. It's actually a different color. So I might wash it before I do the inside. And I just realized we are out of date. Okay guys, there you go. I started at 9 and at 6. Not bad. Took a little break in between. So, I think we're clean enough for the show. There's a little sheen to it. At least I can see the color of the roof again. So, we're good to go. Okay guys, that's it. I'm gonna call this done. Uh, tomorrow we're heading off to the show. Hopefully there's a decent amount of people there. If not, we'll have fun either way. As you can see, the radiator is no longer connected to this. This thing is done for the year. So we have to find a place for it. Or I could still pull this in and out. So, if I put it behind it, I'm gonna be limited on space here. So, thinking of making it as tight as it possible, just putting it right here, ditching the mini bike. I'd really like to work on this mini bike. I'd love to do that this winter. It's calling me. This thing hasn't seen daylight in a while. Can't get the cover up there. She's a cool one. Maybe. Maybe. Even if it's just ratty. And there's no paintwork involved. I got a really cool thing for the throttle this past week. That's what made me think of this bike again. Cool cable setup. Out of uh, a van. It's actually pretty cool. Uh, not a van. Uh, well, I guess it is. It's not a van. It's an SUV. So... Uh, with that said, guys, 
that's it. We're gonna go enjoy the show tomorrow and uh, call it done. You gonna run? Just a little bit. And just a little. For the other ones. Well, I guess it needed a little more throttle. But she's ready to go. That's all that matters.